what's up guys so it goes 24 here again got all kinds of 3m in this shot or the xeno you even see the 3m back there on the under armor so a lot of 3m going on here and we're going to get into these adidas hardens he's my favorite player now even though he kind of choked the other night in the playoffs so we'll see how that goes maybe he'll bounce back next year but uh got the christmas colorway here white with kind of a gray upper i like that i like this little snowflakey looking design for the christmas with the that iridescent three stripes it's just got that full length boost it's a really comfortable shoe I haven't wore these yet uh clean shoe though i need some black joggers I need to pick up some black joggers i think it's gonna look good with that so definitely a clean shoe little sticker on the back telling you that the Colors will fade away. There you see the boost. I've been hooping in these. The Pioneer colorway. Very comfortable. I like it. Uh, the only thing for me, the laces always come undone. So I gotta double knot it and double loop, double loop it. So that's kind of annoying. But and then I really like this uh, colorway. The All Star. That bottom's crazy. I like the I like how it fades there from that peachy color to that deep purple and it's got the line in there to match. Strings are pretty cool. Uh the mesh has a pretty cool or yeah, I guess that's mesh and it's got a pretty cool little design in it too. Hitting you with that three M. Well length of boost of course, just like the other one. And it's definitely uh it's a nice shoe, very comfortable. Looks great on your foot casually too. Looks good on the court, so pick it up if you want to hoop in it or just rock it. And here's the Pioneer colorway that I've been hooping in. Got them broken in good now. Very comfortable shoe. Uh, I was balling in KD9s. It's a very similar shoe, this one not quite as tight. A whole lot easier to put on for sure. But uh, when you... Uh, the, the lacing system is kind of funny, so you got to pull super tight. You really got to, like, just yank it and, uh, yeah, just get it super tight if you like it like that. And uh, it's hard to, it's hard to tighten up, but once you're in, you're in. And that uh, boost ride is very comfortable. Very similar to the KD9, though, but I think I like this one a little better. You can see this traction pattern is holding up nicely on the court. Even played ball once outside in them. Didn't have any other options that night. So, uh, it's got great traction, holds up good. It seems to be pretty durable. And uh, yeah, very nice shoe. 140 price point, true to size. Although I could only find these for retail in a 10. So, they're not as tight as some of the Nikes, like the Kyrie or the uh, KD9, so hopefully that 10 will work out for me. I've yet to even try it on, so we'll see how that works out, and uh, maybe one day I can let you know. But Adidas has got that 3M on point. Alright, guys. So, uh, pick them up if you want to. Uh, my favorite player, so moved on. Since Kobe's retired, I don't really like the ADs so much. Um, I might pick up a pair just because Kobe was my favorite player, but uh, via to cop a pair of ADs. So these are my go-to right now for hoop and shoe instead of the Kobe's. I used to just rock Kobe's on the court all the time. And now, um, since the KD9s I bought popped and after like two months of use, I think this is my go-to model here, so... Alright guys, let me know what you think, drop a comment below, like, subscribe, do what you do, till next time, peace out.